let's discuss a topic which is very rarely discussed at breast augmentation procedures. Something about how do you select a good plastic surgeon for yourself for your breast augmentation surgery. How or where was breast implants actually, where did they actually start? And is there any indication for not doing breast implant surgery? So let's talk all about this in the next few minutes. So first, how would you want to select a good plastic surgeon for yourself to get the best results from your breast augmentation surgery? First thing, you have to check the experience of your doctor. A doctor who is within the first few years of their passing out may not be your best choice because the doctor, I believe, must have an experience of at least 200 breast implant surgeries assisted or done in order to be a primary surgeon for you. Second, the degrees. The more the person has done some fellowships, particularly in different countries, they get more experience about different techniques of breast augmentation surgery, which leads me to the third point, the freedom or the flexibility of doing different kinds of procedures. So for example, a surgeon must be adept at doing the dual plane technique as well as the normal subfacial techniques or the submuscular techniques. They must be open to doing the internal bra technique and as well as creating the cleavage. So it's important that technically your doctor must have flexibility so that different situations you can opt for different treatments. Fourth point, what is the follow-up protocol? How do you think your doctor is going to follow you up? You must have all that charted out. If you get a hint that after surgery, there's a chance that you may not be followed up too well, think again. Don't rush into a decision of doing a breast augmentation surgery without knowing this. And last, and the, probably one of the most important points, does the surgeon use proper approved implants? Are the implants US FDA or CE approved only then use those implants. That tells you about the doctor as well. Because if the doctor is making shortcuts by choosing cheap implants from Korea, from China, then that talks about the standard of treatment of that center. The center is willing to cut costs, willing to do cheaper implants for you. Be very careful. Don't choose such a doctor who is willing to cut corners in order to reduce costs. Another point which comes up is, am I a good candidate for a breast augmentation surgery? What may be factors which contradict me, me means the patient, from doing a breast implant surgery? First, you must have a very clear idea of what you are doing. Please do not do a breast implant surgery just because someone has told you to do it. Either your boyfriend, your husband, your girlfriend, your friends in general, or you just read it on the internet and you just want to jump ahead and do a breast augmentation procedure. No. You must read about it in detail. You must understand the procedure because this is a lifetime commitment. A breast implant is with you for life. So it's like you're getting this commitment with you for life. So remember, study about it. So if you're not sure about it, don't do it. If you're suffering from some medical illness, you are a cancer survivor or you're having some heart disease, I would not recommend a breast augmentation for you. Then third, you don't have budgets to do high quality breast implant. Remember, if you choose a cheap implant, if you choose an implant which is not CE marked, just because of low budgets, you are creating problems. You're actually buying problems for yourself. Save money. Either you can take EMI based plans, but at least do the best quality of breast implant that is possible. Fourth, you're someone who does not listen to the doctor. You're not going to follow up properly, not going to understand all the instructions that have been given to you. you. You will choose not to listen to the doctor. Well, there are patients like that. They already think they are gods. They're just doing a favor on their doctor by doing surgery with the doctor. If you're one of those, please don't do your breast implant surgery. So these are the common contraindications, one would say, against breast augmentation procedures. And finally, when and how or what about the origin of breast implants. To be honest, I do not know exactly the names of the plastic surgeons who invented the breast implant, but there is a movie on Netflix that talks about this particular history. There are two plastic surgeons from US. The year was, I think, 1952 or 1957, and they actually invented the breast implant surgery. The first breast implants that were done actually had a Dacron patch on them. So they would, it would be like the Velcro the implant would be stuck to the chest wall with the Velcro piece. Of course, it had its problems and today we are using the fifth generation of implants 
and you can hold the implant, turn them, you can run your car over them, you can do anything with them, you can even hit your husband with them, or you can even just hammer your boyfriend with those implants. Nothing will happen to the implants, your boyfriend's has head, I do not take the guarantee for. So, that's about the breast implants, they're beautiful, they give you a lifetime of joy and happiness, they're absolutely safe. So, if you've been contemplating breast implant surgery for you, talk to us. Talk to us now and receive a free consult.